Welcome to Jackie Land. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Jackie, and I'm back with another story time video today. Um, if you don't know, I'm normally a daily vlogger, and I just decide every now and then to sprinkle in story times and challenge videos just to kind of make it more exciting. They're things I like to watch, so I also like to make them. Um, so today this story is going to be about a girl who wanted to beat me up <laughs> when I was in high school. So this story goes back to my junior year of high school and it starts at prom when I went with a guy friend of mine. Um, we went as like he was my date to make it kind of like cheaper tickets and all that but we went as like a group of people and we all met up at this one of the girl in the group met up at her house and she did like um she had like a catering type thing going on and we had you know food there and it was really fun and while we were there I met a girl and her boyfriend I don't know possibly ex-boyfriend I'll explain that in a minute I met them for the first time as a part of the people in the group the girl attended my high school but I had never seen her before I met her so it's all good I don't care um so while we were at the dinner, the topic of their relationship had come up from other people talking about it. And I guess that they had dated before, but they were split up, but they were still going as dates to prom. Um, he didn't go to the school, but she wanted him as her date. The whole situation was kind of confusing, but whatever. We went to prom, prom was great, everything was fun. At the end of the night, we went back to one of the girls in the group, not the first girl, but another girl in the group. Everyone went back to her house, and instead of going to like a party, I was one of those kids who didn't do that, at least this year. So we were all at this other girl's house, and we were just hanging out, the group of us who met up in the beginning, and one of them decided to start playing like board games. And I love board games and I was excited about it, but my date had to leave and go home. And then um, she, for some reason, didn't want to play. So it ended up, because of the number of people we had and the fact that we both wanted to play, me and this guy, did, we ended up being teammates. So, <laughs> oh, this whole thing is so crazy. So as the night went on, we, we were playing our game, we were teammates, so we had to interact, and we were having a good time and having fun because we were teammates and had to interact. The funniest thing to me was that it got back to me that she had been jealous that he was paying so much attention to me and talking to me so much, but we were teammates. Like, how, how do you not talk to your teammate and pay attention to them when you have to talk to them and pay attention to them to win the game? Like... What? <laughs> and the end of the night came and he decided to try and give me his number, which was incredibly awkward for me because she was like right around the corner in the room that we had all just been in and I knew like they had some stuff going on and I mean honestly I really wasn't interested. If we're being totally honest, I appreciated the attention because I'm a girl and I wasn't getting a lot of that back then so I was you know like oh that's cool but I really wasn't interested in him. I took the number like an idiot but I never contacted him. A couple days later he somehow got my number and started contacting me. Probably wasn't that hard to find, but regardless. So he started texting me, and he was interested in trying to do something, but he wasn't interested in what I would have wanted. He made certain life decisions that I was like, eh, standards are a little higher than that, like not interested. And he probably just wanted to smash, and I was like, mm, that ain't happening with this girl. So anyway, there was a few days of interaction, but nothing like from me trying to pursue him at all. I wasn't interested. Well, <laughs> it got back to her. So I get a call one night in the middle of the night. It wasn't the middle of the night, but it was late. Like I was already trying to go to sleep. I got a call from this number and I answered it and it was this girl and she proceeded to chew me out about how they weren't broken up and he's coming over to her house tonight to have spaghetti and how dare she try and get with a man that's already taken and he has a kid and like all this stuff. Well, I'm just on the other line like, what? <laughs> uh, what? 
Like literally took at least three minutes for me to even figure out what she was talking about. Um, but she was pissed. So anyway, she like gave it to me and told me that if she saw me at school that she was going to beat me up. Which is so ridiculous considering he was pursuing me. I wasn't even like giving it back or interested. Like just crazy. And side note, why would you want to be with a guy who's trying to get with other girls and has a kid with another girl? Like why would you pursue that yourself? Anyway, so um, it was... It was a crazy moment. In the moment, I was like, oh my God, because I've never been in a fight. I mean, I'm sure I could hold my own. Honestly, I probably could beat that ass, but that's another story. So anyway, I'm not that kind of girl. I wouldn't want to do that, but I was put in the position. I'm sure that I could throw down. So anyway, I, like I said, I had only met this girl that night, so I didn't really remember what she looked like. I did, however, on the number she called from, immediately saved it and put in the name as do not answer, because I was like, I ain't answering this girl's call again. Um, and like, kind of just moved on with life, because I never see her, I don't know what she looks like, like, it just is what it is. But then, as the months went by, I could recall there was a girl who would constantly be like, giving me dirty looks and I'm like why is that girl giving me a dirty look and I'm just like going on about my day da, da, da. but I just like randomly would look over and there'd be like a girl giving me a dirty look and one day it clicked and I was like oh she's that girl from prom she hates me <laughs> for no reason she hates me but whatever so nothing ever happened but I'm sure that if she was upset in the moment and like it was confronted. She probably would try and beat me up, but I was like, this girl's crazy. But cut to, if you saw my last story time, you would know that I worked at one store two times. The first time I was a regular employee, the second time when I came back, I wasn't technically a manager, but I was a key holder and I had certain like managerial duties. So I was back at this store for the second time around this time and come to find out, I came into work one day, and guess who now works on my staff? This girl. And I was like, are you kidding me? It had been about a year between when this happened and when she started working at the store I was working at. But it was just the craziest moment of my life. Like, okay, like, she probably still hates me for no reason, but she still hates me, and now I'm in charge of her, and she works at the store I work at, and I know that this girl has, uh, had quite the reputation for drama, so I was like, great, awesome, <laughs> but she quickly, uh, kind of brought it up herself, and apologized, and we kind of like, you know, it was, it was over, it was whatever. Um, so I'm hoping that at this point in her life, it doesn't bother her at all, and it just was something silly that happened. Uh, I feel bad that she felt like I was doing that to her, because I certainly wasn't. I feel even worse that she kept pursuing a guy who was obviously treating her like trash. Um, but I, I think everybody is at good places in, our, in their lives now, at least I hope. Uh, but yeah, that was the time a girl in high school wanted to beat me up. Great. <laughs> if you like this story time, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like and subscribe. And also, if you like these story times, let me know. Your likes will let me know. But And I have other stories that I could share and I would like to share. So let me know and I'll do them. Thanks for watching. Love you so much. And I will see you tomorrow with a regular vlog. Bye.